Hello everybody, let's get straight to it. Today we will review an article written by Corin Supress, who is an industry specialist at Extension. He wrote a nice article about resource request approval workflow in Dynamics 365 for operations. As I said before, it's a very nice article and we're going to review it in the system in Dynamics 365 for operations spring release. So to illustrate my first point, I will show you how right now I'm in the project, when I click on specify resource hours, I can do two types of allocation for my resources. I can either do the soft boot or the hard boot. Both options are available to me. So for us to enable that resource allocation workflow, we need to navigate to project management and accounting parameters, go to scheduling tab, and turn on the enable resource request workflow option. Once that option is turned on, we're going to go back to the same project that we had before. We're going to click on specify resource hours, and we will now see that once I select the resource, only the sub book option is available to me, no longer a hard book. The reason being here is the hard book option is only available through a workflow approval process. The setups that the article describes are very self-explanatory. So we need to turn that option on, which we already did. We may need to make sure that we have resource request ID number sequence defined and make sure that number sequence is not manual. And the next step is to enable the workflows. And the article briefly touches on the point that you need to have two workflows request uh, created. The first one is resource request line and another one is resource request. The reason being here is that the main one, which is resource request, will reference to the resource request line. So you need to have both in place, one link to another. Let me show you where it is done. So I will navigate to project management and accounting workflows. And first I will show you the workflow I created for the line. I'm going to click on that workflow 223. The resource request line workflow is quite simple. We have one component. If we're going to go to the level down, I'm going to click on it. We're going to see that there are no automatic actions created and the assignment goes straight to a user. Of course, that is done for the demo purposes. In real life, you will probably try to mimic something a bit more, com more complex. Right now, the workflow is set up to be assigned to myself. Next, I will show you how I've defined my resource request. Here is a resource request workflow. It's quite simple too. There is only one component in our workflow and you can see that right now I'm invoking a single workflow for all line items and if I click on the drop down that is the same resource request line workflow that I just showed you previously. Now for the demo purposes I will create a brand new project now it's going to be time and material I will call it demo for new workflow I will take an existing contract and the new project 187 is created. In the next step, I will create a simple work breakdown structure, which will have only one activity. Right now, I need to specify my calendar for my project. So I will define the default calendar as 24 hours. And I'm going to click on the work breakdown structure. I'm going to create new activity. I will call it build. Category will be, let's say, apprentice, and it will require, say, three hours to do it in one day. And I'm going to go and publish. As the article mentions, you need to have an activity published. Once I select that, and I would like to assign or initiate the assignment of the resource, you will see there will be an issue here because I don't see any resources that I can select in that drop down under my resource column. So for me to do that, I need to first define available resources for that project. So I'm back to my project and I'm going to go to project team and scheduling tab and I'm going to click on add. So I will need to add at least one resource that I can use or assign to the activities in my WDS. So first I'll come type in my, my name and I'm going to assign myself as a, to a default role, which is a team member. Of course, you can create multiple user defined roles and assign different resources to different roles. In this case, I will assign all resources to the same role. So I'm going to go and assign myself here. So here's my first 
reserves that has been assigned to that brand new project. Then I'm going to click on drop down and assign June Low as another resource that should be available. So I have assigned three resources to my project myself, Lexi, June Low, and Sean Bentley. Once that is done, I will go back to my WDS. Mind you, it is already published, but I still can assign a resource to my loan activity, which is task. So you can see that I have three resources available to be assigned. And I'm going to pick June Low that I would like to associate with that specific WDS activity. Once I pick an employee, I'm going to click Accept. As soon as that is done, you will see that message. June Low has no hard booking hours in this project to support this assignment operation. Would you like to submit a resource request for your requested hours? I will say yes. Then I can specify comments or you can leave it blank and I'm going to submit it for an approval. Once that is done, the soft booking have been created for this resource. Let me show you. I'm back to my project. I will click on specify resource hours screen. So on this screen, I will see three resources that I have just added to my project. And when I click on June Low, I will see there is a reservation type of request in review for three hours that has been created. You will see two lines because the way Dynamics 365 for versions does it now, it creates one line for a specific task and then one for general project. But those will be either hooked or rejected together, so they are synced. So right now, the request is in review. If I click on the workflow button, once the workflow processes, and it may take some time, and you need to make sure that you have processes that does do support the execution of the workflow, I will have now multiple options available to me. So that's a, one of the first place where you can make a decision whether or not to either approve or reject the assignment. Another place that article mentions is the My Resource Requests form that shows you all the resource requests that are assigned to you. You see the second one is the one that we just created for three hours. It's a request number 0008. So that's another place. Again, so let's just look at the options that are available to us. So the first one is uh, view request history and view request line history. That shows you the uh, background works that had happened by executing the, that workflow. So that's where you can do the troubleshooting, figure out which workflow version was used. If there are multiple, you can see the timestamp for each um, activity that had happened, etc. Another option is delegate. So you don't want to make a decision or you have enabled automatic delegation because you are on vacation and you can do the automatic with a delegation. Just a fresh reminder from options on your user profile, workflow, and you can enable delegations from that screen. So it's a very similar to out of office assistant. So the second option is delegate. When you do that, you can select a specific user in the system to which you would like to whom you would like to delegate this uh, approval process. Another option is cancel. That means that request should not be processed. So that soft reservation that has been created will be canceled. Another option is recall, meaning as me as a workflow originator, I have an option to recall that workflow back. I may still put it back to draft mode and work on it, maybe change the hours or assign a different resource. That option is only available if you are a workflow originator, which in this case, I am both an approver and the originator. This option reject, meaning that I don't want to hard book that person for that activity right now, just to remind you that this symbol right here in the bottom right corner, as the article mentions, shows a soft booking reservation. So June Low had been soft booked for three hours to that project, to that activity. If I were to reject that assignment, that reservation will go away and it will not be hard booked. And the last option, which we will use right now, is approve. If you want to approve, we're going to, we may specify the comments, which is optional. And right now, we have to wait for a few minutes. And the article makes an excellent point that 
sometimes you have to be very patient with how long it takes the system to process and hard book that reservation but the expected result in this situation is that that soft reservation was that was automatically created will be now turning into a hard reservation so let's go back to our project and click on reservation details tab you can see that June Low has a different shading of that square and we can see that these three hours are now hard booked and hard assigned so we know that our approval did take effect and now allocated hard book those three hours against that approval and as, as a summary for my uh, demo today let me just explain the difference between hard booking and hard assignment so bookings can come in two flavors soft bookings and hard bookings those are the ones done through the form under specified resource hours so that's where you can just assign specific resources and you can book them for a specific number of time uh, for a specific period of time again because the workflow is enabled we can only soft book in this case so booking does not imply a connection to a specific WEDS activity. Assignment, on the other hand, does imply that we assign a specific project resource to a specific WEDS activity. In this case, both had happened. So once we are back to the work breakdown structure, we can see that the activity, the loan activity that, that we have created, now has a resource June Law assigned see it's fully staffed so that means our three hours required had been allocated to June so that had happened after the workflow had been executed executed and, and approved we can still reconsider and pick a different resource instead and that would trigger another workflow approval that we already saw so that would be all for now hope you found it uh, somewhat useful till the next time